Now one of over 160,000 registered prisoners in South Africa, former President Jacob Zuma woke up this morning in a cell and he starts his 15-month prison term. Where Zuma is serving time, well, like Zuma, Romney Kazrul has also fought hard against apartheid and he joins us now for comment on the former freedom fighters' incarceration. Mr. Kazrul, uh, I know that you are not well, you are struggling with COVID and I can't thank you enough and I'm going to keep this short. Um, we're sending you a lot of strength from the whole team, but uh, Mr. Kazrul, we had to have you on uh, with no schadenfreude. Uh, certainly no satisfaction at someone else's downfall. What is your response to uh, Jacob Zuma's incarceration? Well, he's dug a deep hole for himself and his friends have aided and updated him for a long time. The country has had to bear that cross. It's been an agony. And I'm not going to dwell on the past and his contribution there. He's muddied those waters. Um, he's been reckless in the extreme. And today I congratulate the judiciary. I congratulate the constitution, the democracy that we fought for and have achieved. And I think the key lesson for those that I Jacob Zuma, his support base who howl and will dissipate now that he's having to pay the ultimate price of his choosing, is that we have a democracy, we have state power, and what has happened in relation to Zuma and his ilk, thinking that they could stand up as the victims, as the players of that the state power which reinforces the judiciary is the one in the end that, that, that comes true. And we can celebrate that in this country. It's the achievement of democratic struggle. And yes, he played his role in that, but we cannot go on giving him that free card and that license. He's played up conspiracy to the most wicked level. And I do sympathize. However, he's in for, I would say, quite a quite a comfortable incarceration. We've seen what happened to the likes of Shabir Sheikh and Jackie Salibi in the past. I don't think that we'll see Zuma suffering uh, indignity for, 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 for these months ahead. I think they'll give him a very soft landing. And from that point of view, I, 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 do, not, um, I, I, I do not go against such a, 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 a um, way of dealing with him. Thanks so much for your commiseration. I must say that COVID can be beaten just as the, um, the cads of this country who have driven us, they thought, to the wall. But in the end, they came up against the state power that we have in this country, that durability that reinforces the rule of law. So it's a great victory for South Africa. Mr. Kazrils, uh, please look after yourself and uh, make sure that you get back uh, your health back. Uh, we are sending you our well wishes. Thank you again for coming on. Well, we've got ANC National Spokesperson Pule Mabe on the line with us. Mr. Mabe, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Jesse Duarte, the acting SG, saying uh, earlier this week that uh, the party loves Jacob Zuma and that they were hoping as a party that he would not have to go to jail. Uh, well, uh, morning and uh, morning to your viewers. Uh, of course, we have uh, 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 been watching the development uh, quite closely. We have had that uh, press briefing with the Deputy Secretary General giving updates on the outcomes of the National Executive uh, Committee. Uh, through the statement of the NEC, we have uh, once more uh, reaffirmed uh, our respect for the rule of law 
uh, the supremacy of the constitution and the independence of the judiciary. Uh, we have noted uh, yesterday that uh, and, and respected uh, the decision taken by the former president of the African National Congress to comply with an incarceration order as issued by the Constitutional Court. Without doubt, this is a difficult period in the movement, and we have called on our members to remain calm. Former President Jacob Zuma's decision to abide by that incarceration order was a truly a brave and hard decision to make. We have uh, wished him well. Uh, Pule Mabe, NC spokesperson, they're saying they've wished Jacob Zuma well and the rule of law has been upheld.